Hello guys, welcome to Life Around the Kite Pond. Uh, been a crap weekend. It's been terrible. Um, George is no longer with us. Um, they succumbed to uh, so it's their bacterial issue, which we've been battling for, God, George, nearly three years. We got him with a bit of a mark on his tail at first and we just tried clearing it. Salt. Um, just tried treating him with all sorts. Sedate, treat, sedate, treat. And uh, yeah, it was just, just an absolute bloody nightmare to be fair. But um, in the end, in the end it got him. Uh, and Dennis and Snowy. We we tried our best with them. You know we FMG, uh, you know, from Alderhead and all that. And we also we also put um, Straight malachite, straight malachite in the pond. We tried that. I uh, built a, built a hospital tank. It's actually the last videos. Then it starts to pack up a bit, but we couldn't manage the ammonia. That's the thing. The ammonia was too much. For as much as we was treating, the ammonia was beating us. So in the end I had to put him back in the pond. I was put him back in the pond. Gradually, slowly, the worse he got. No matter how often we sedated him, treated him. We we went to hell and back. We we also had him injected. Because even even tried to get it down to a um internal in bacterial infection and that didn't even work I think sometimes you can just chuck money at a problem all the time and and eventually you've just got to put your hands up and say I surrender that's it there's no more I can do do the fish there they're um, they're absolutely spot on, not a mark on them, and I think it's because of their immune system. That's what I think it is. George's immune system was knackered. Dennis's was knackered. Snowy's was knackered, and a few others that have passed away. But they're also maybe have that issue but but I say we just we couldn't really do much more for him and the fact is that he I wouldn't I wouldn't wish that on any fish if you're going through this I pity I really do because it's a bastard. Putting it bluntly. It really is. You know, because. And I think, to be no, George was actually spreading it but to the other fish, I think. Um, every pond has this. This Aramond. Um, bacteria in their water, in their ponds, and and it's only due to their protective slime scale um, that and it's not affect you know that it doesn't affect them because that's their protective barrier from all this sort of stuff, and unfortunately, it 
bad past George, he must have got by him, same with Dennis and Snowy and all the other fish and it got by him and it got underneath their scales and ravaged them. And no matter how much we tried, it just kept coming back. You think you think you've beat it, you think you've got on top and then it comes back tenfold and it knocks hell out of them. And we had to we had to sit ahead and then um, you can hear them. One good, one good at all, you know, it's been terrible. But at the end of the day you wouldn't you wouldn't leave a dog or any animal to suffer the way they have. And I don't and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna see an animal suffer. And that's what it and that's what I had to do. So I'm just chucking this video out there just just to inform you all that George is no longer with us and Dennis and Snowy. Now we get very well could be our fault. Possibly. Overstocking. Filter media not mature enough. We got him. We put him in here. And the rest. You know, we we're responsible. And probably responsible for his death as well. But you can't take away that we didn't do our best as well for him. You know, we we tried everything. We moved the way, we moved the earth for him. But one enough. And I think sometimes in life you one of those battles you're just not going to bloody win. But yeah, Mildred, she's absolutely bloody fine, and the rest of them, Shimmer, Twinnies, Orange Ed Teabag, Jaffa Cake, yeah, all the rest of them, they're alright, not a mark on them. Hence why it's the protective slam coat on those their bodies. Not right, Mildred. Yeah. Hey. Isn't that right, Kidderell? Hey. Yeah. You're hungry, aren't you? You sure are. But yeah. Yeah, that's that's the top of my mind. That's the, that's been my bloody weekend. I've had better, let me tell you. We uh, we just plod on now. You know, I'm not gonna buy any more fish. I'm not gonna replace. I'm not gonna replace fish that we've lost. That that would be just effort, just literally detrimental to the whole pond. I think Mother Nature just basically said you've got so many fish for the uh, for the matureness of your bacteria in your um, media and that's it. We just probably didn't have enough. Have enough mature care one and we'll probably overfeed it. All guilty of that, I think. It's hard not to when they're coming to top and they're mouthing at the top, and you feel, oh, just a little bit go on then. You know. And that's what happens. You don't even realise that you're causing a problem to your fish until it's, until it's too late. In fact, I won't be overfeeding, no matter how much Mildred comes to the top and starts mouthing for food. It'll be uh, three days, it'll be three times a day, and that's it. In the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. That's it. That's all she's getting, and that's all the rest of them are getting. And none of these silly traits in between either. Crap sticks.
dried worms, all that sort of business. As much as you think, you know, you, you want to see them feed and you want to see, see them and stuff. Just don't fall into the trap of actually killing your own fish by overfeeding and overwhelming your filtration. Because if your filters are up to it, your fish will suffer. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bit of a rant, bit of a moan, bit of a shit weekend. But, um, yeah. Until the next one, guys. Catch you later. Bye for now.